we shall solve one more problem a doubly reinforced beam of width of 230 mm and 600 mm total depth is reinforced with four bars of 16 mm diameter as compression reinforcement and six bars of 20 mm diameter as tension steel at an effective core of 40 mm on both sides find the superimposed load if a beam is simply supported over an effective span of 6 meter use m20 grade concrete and a fe415 steel now look at here a doubly reinforced beam of width of 230 mm so b is equal to 230 mm 600 mm total depth or overall depth okay it is not effective depth it is 600 mm is total depth for overall depth reinforced with four bars of 16 mm dia as compression reinforcement that is ac is equal to four bars of 16 mm six bars of 20 mm diameter as tension steel effective cover d dash is equal to 40 mm on both side both side means for compression as well as tension d dash is equal to 40 mm find the superimposed load if the beam is simply supported over an effective span of 6 meter l is equal to 6 meter use m20 concrete that is fck is equal to 20 newton per mm square fy is equal to 415 newton per mm square the difference between earlier problem and this problem is this steel earlier it was 215 newton per mm square now this is 415 newton per mm square please remember the big difference between that and this is there it was in order to calculate fsc is equal to 0.87 fy directly you have taken but here you have to interpolate you have to do the interpolation please remember for fe415 and fe500 you have to do interpolation okay now write down this breadth b is equal to 230 mm effective span 6 meter depth of the b a section is equal to 600 mm total or overall depth 600 mm fck 20 newton per mm square fy 450 newton per mm square effective d depth uh, cover d is equal to 40 mm therefore effective depth d is equal to 600 minus 40 they have given effective cover please remember this is not a clear cover it is a effective cover effective cover 40 mm therefore effective depth is equal to 600 minus 40 that is 560 mm <coughs> okay now est est is equal to 6 bars of 20 mm bars 20 mm dia so 6 into pi i into 20 square by 4 please type and find out your own answer 6 into pi i into 20 square by 4 1885 mm mm square you may get 1884.95 something please write down your own answers don't copy my answer ac is equal to 4 in 4 in 4 numbers of 16 mm dia that is 4 into Four into pi i into sixteen square by four, eight zero four point two five mm square. Got it? Have you got the both the answers? One eight eight five mm square, eight zero four point two five mm square. Okay, fine. Next, to calculate the stress in compression FSC in newton per mm square, the whole story lies here. For this problem. this is the only difference otherwise rest of the thing is same okay so for 415 fe415 and fe500 they have to adopt this method okay you have to adopt this method for fe250 you can take directly 0.087 into fy now here to calculate the fsc value first you need to calculate d dash by d d dash is given 40 d dash is effective cover at compression le level compression steel and d is the effective depth so 40 divided by 560 is 0.071 calculate it calculate it calculate it get your answer please don't copy my answer calculate this answers you should get this answer 
okay fine now using table f of sp16 okay there is a one more code book known as F sp16 okay you must have this code book also i have given the code book just copy of this okay for your reference so here fy value is given and d dash d values are given okay these values you have to take it and do the interpolation for example now my d dash d value is 0 0.071 you will have to find out see i have got four values d dash d is equal to 0 0.05 0 0.10 0 0.15 0 0.20 now you have to search this 0 0.071 0 0.071 value is in between 0 0.05 and 0 0.01 you understand this value 0 0.071 is lies in between 0 0.05 and 0 0.10 it is in between this and you have to find out between these two values okay because 415 is a reference for 415 0 0.05 it is 355 and 415 0 0.10 is 353 so my value d1 d value 0 0.071 and that value is in between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. I will write what is the value of 0 0.05 for 415. 0 0.05 for 415 is 355. Write on for 0.05 value is 355. For 0 0.05 value is 355. For 0 0.05 value is 355. Now just leave one column, one row. Down below you write down. For 0 0.1 what is the value? 353. For 0 0.1 right 353 now my value is in between 0 0.071 is in between these two values we write the question mark now this format is same as for the interpolation last year you have done interpolation of contours same things you do the interpolation and find out the fsc value the 355 minus okay 355 is minus then 355 minus 353 divided by 0 0.1 minus 0.05 into the difference between this requirement 0 0.71 minus 0 0.05 you will get 354.16 newton per mm square please calculate this and write down this fast make it fast use your calculator make it fast and tell me how comfortable you are using this otherwise i have one more solution for you please tell me how comfortable you are with this otherwise i have one more solution for you I have one more solution for you. Please don't worry. First you calculate this and tell me. Get this answer 354.16. I will wait. I will wait for you. Get this answer 354.16. It is very simple. Okay, in case you are not comfortable with this system, with this formula or this interpolation style, I have one more thing for you. Okay, right. Let me tell you this. Okay, same table you write down, d dash d. d dash d 0.05 is 355. 0 0.1 is 353. In between 0 0.71 is how much? Question mark. And now you create two more rows. Okay, two more rows. I will call this first answer, I call it is A. Second I call it is B and third I call it is C. Now down below you write C minus A, B minus C. Small b it is. C minus A, B minus C. C minus A, small b minus C. C minus A, C means this value, A means this value. So now C minus A is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.05. That is 0 0.05. Here 353 minus 355 is minus 2. Don't change any sign. Simply you write C minus A as it is. 353 minus 355 you got minus 2 now b minus a small b it is okay by typing error small b minus a b is a 0 0.10 a is here <coughs> small b is here b minus a small b minus a it is not capital b it is small b b is here a is here 0 0.071 minus 0 0.05 is 0.21 now b is here question mark you can't 
deduct question mark from this. Right? Question mark as it is. Now do the cross multiplication. These two numbers and with this question mark. You mechanically you write this question mark down below. This value write down down below. It is very simple. And these two multiplication you write it on here. Numerator. And add this fraction to this 355. Don't think much. FSC is equal to this corner value. This always this corner value 355 plus this cross multiplication divided by this. This is a very nice idea. Good idea it is. You don't need to think much on this. Only you need to practice. You will get the same answer. If you are comfortable with this, please adopt this. Only thing is you have to name them A, B, C and then C minus A, B minus A. It is not capital B, it is small b. C minus A, B minus A. It is small b by typing error. It is not capital B, it is small b. B minus A. This C minus, C minus A. Just to do the minus and plus. That's all. You will get this answer. This, this 355, this corner, always this corner, this, this side corner. Write it here plus then this fraction. Multiply this divided by this. That's all. Now, rest of the steps remain same. XU max for FY 415 Newton per mm square. Page number 70 IS 456 2000. Page number 70 IS 456 2000. You will get this for F1, uh, FY is equal to 415. You will get this XU max is equal to 0 0.48D. 0 0.48 into 560. 268.80 type it calculate it and then write your own answer to say I got 268.80 you check your answer come on fast now next okay you got it 260.80 very good next depth of Actual neutral axis XU, same equation, nothing change here, only with this new term AF, FSC, AC, the same term I used in earlier problem also. For W reinforcement, this XQ equation is remains same. Please remember this. You don't need to remember the entire equation, only FSC minus A, uh, FSC into AC. This is there in the code book, page number 96. This much is there in the code book, page number 96. Only minus FSC into ASC. Now substitute here. All values substitute. 0 0.87. FY is 415. AST 1885. Minus FSC 354.16. ASC 804.25. Whole divided by 0 0.36. FCK 20. B is equal to 230. And now calculate. You should get 238.98 mm. X is equal to 238.98. Please check. If you don't get, recheck. Recheck, recheck, recheck till you get this answer. Don't make mistake. Don't copy my answer. Are you getting? Are you getting my this answer? Okay, good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now XU max is equal to 268.80. XU 238.98. Now this compare these two values. You got 268.80, 238.98. Now what is the conclusion? Therefore, XU 238.98 mm less than XU max 268.80. Therefore, the given section is under imposed section. When XU is less than XU max, the given section is under imposed section. So ultimate moment of resistance MU. Therefore, ultimate moment of resistance for under imposed section given MU is equal to 0 0.36 FCK B into XU D minus 0 0.42 XU. This equation is not new equation. You are used to this equation. Only this term is new. FSC into AC D minus D dash. FSC into AC into D minus D dash. Substitute all the values. 0 0.36 FCK 20 B is equal to 230, then D is equal to, uh, XU is equal to 238.98, D is equal to 560, 0 0.42 into XU value is 
एफ एस सी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट वन सिक्स एस सी एट जीरो फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव इन टू फोर सिक्सटी माइनस फोर्टी अगेन यू डोंट डू दिस कैलकुलेशन फोर सिक्सटी माइनस फोर्टी इज फाइव सॉरी फाइव सिक्सटी माइनस फोर्टी इज फाइव ट्वेंटी यू गो ऑन मल्टीप्लाई दिस आंसर मल्टीप्लाई दिस आंसर गेट द आंसर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी इंटू टू टू थर्टी इंटू टू थर्टी एट पॉइंट नाइन एट इंटू ओपन ब्रैकेट फाइव सिक्सटी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर टू इंटू टू थर्टी एट पॉइंट नाइन एट क्लोज ब्रैकेट प्रेस इक्वल इयर इयर यू प्रेस इक्वल देन यू डू प्लस थ्री फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट वन सिक्स इंटू एट जीरो फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी डोंट टाइप फाइव सिक्सटी माइनस फोर्टी फाइव सिक्सटी माइनस फोर्टी इज फाइव ट्वेंटी एवरी वन नोस प्रेस आंसर यू विल गेट बिग आंसर देन यू प्रेस दैट इंज बटन ई एन जी On your calculator, there is an inch button is there. E N G. Press inch. You will get into ten to the power of six format. Now remove that ten to the power of six and write only that remain whatever the three with the digital. I got three thirty kilonewton meter. Check your answers. Check your answers. If you get it, nice, good. If you don't get it, recalculate once again. Try. Try yourself once again. Can you use equal to three thirty point three thirty kilonewton meter? Next, ultimate moment of resistance can you use equal to three thirty point three thirty kilonewton meter? Now, same step number six to calculate superimposed load kilo in kilonewton per meter. Factor bending moment for simply supported beam W uh, BM is equal to W L square by eight. This is the maximum bending moment. This we studied in third sem, third sem last year. Tenth of material maximum bending moment W L square by eight. Substitute six is uh, L is equal to six. You got BM is equal to four point five W. Next. So now by equating ultimate moment of resistance MU and factor bending moment MU is equal to W L square by eight. 330 is equal to 4.5 W. Find out W value. 330 divided by 4.5. That is equal to 73.33 kilonewton per meter. Get this answer. 330 divided by 4.5. W U is equal to 73.33 kilonewton per meter. You got it. Very good. Very good. Now calculate safe working load. Safe working load W including the self weight W is equal to W U by partial safety factor that is 1.5. Find out this. <coughs> that is 73.33 divided by 1.5, 48.85 kilonewton per meter. Now once again, self weight of the beam B into D into 25. What is 25? 25 is unit weight of reinforced cement concrete, or slab, or beam, or lintel, or staircase, or column. Everything for everything, unit weight of concrete is equal to 25 kilonewton per meter. So B into D into 25. B is 230 mm. That is 0.23 meter. D is 600 mm. That is 0.6 meter. Just divided by thousand and into twenty five, twenty five kilonewton per meter meter cube, twenty five kilonewton per meter cube. So zero point two three into zero point six into twenty five, three point four five kilonewton per meter. Calculate, calculate, calculate. Open your calculate calculator. Use your calculator. Find the value. You must get three point four five kilonewton per meter. Write down the unit properly. This is a UDL unit. Don't mix up the unit. For UDL, always kilonewton per meter. <coughs> now, now calculate safe working load W including self weight. That is 48.89. Or okay, same thing. Now, therefore, superimposed load the beam can carry W minus WD. 48.89 minus 3.45. You deduct this self weight from 48.89. You get 45.44 kilonewton per meter. This is the final answer. 45.44, 48.89. This 48.89 minus this 3.45. You get 45.44 kilonewton per 
meter this is the final answer okay this problem is for your practice a beam of 230 mm by 500 mm effective is reinforced on tension and compression side with four bars of 20 mm and two bars of 16 mm dia respectively the compressor steel is placed at 40 mm below the top if the concrete mix is m20 and a fit 250 steel calculate ultimate moment of resistance okay now this is the beam and we have four bars at tension side diameter of the bar is 20 mm and two bars of 16 mm dia on compress compression side the compressor steel is placed at 40 mm below the top now the meaning of this is what i understand from here from here to here okay this is given 40 mm now we require d dash d dash means from the center of this bar to here that equal to this 40 plus 5 by 2 5 is the diameter of the bar so this is 40 plus 16 divided by 2 16 diameter of the bar that equal to 48 mm d dash is equal to okay now you got d dash now you find out ast is equal to ast is equal to find out calculate this ast is equal to four bars of 20 mm dia this is ast okay ASC is equal to ASC is equal to two bars of 16 mm dia. Calculate this. Okay. Now d dash you already calculated. D dash is equal to 48 mm. Okay. Now you calculate FSC. Calculate FSC. That is 0.87. FY 0.87 FY because FY value is 250. Calculate FSC. Okay. Now you calculate XU max for FY is equal to 250. Calculate XU max. Also calculate XU. Compare these two values. now if xu is less than xu max okay the given section is under imposed section if xu is greater than xu max the given section is over imposed section now here in case of under imposed sections you can calculate mu is equal to 0.36 fck b into xu into d minus 0.42 xu close bracket plus second component what is second component fsc 
into AC into D minus D dash. The second component that is MU for under impose. In case of over imposement section, then XU is equal to XU max. In case of over imposed section, then MU is equal to M is equal to 0 0.148 0 0.148 FCK BD square FCK BD square plus second component. This is first component plus FSC into AC into D minus D dash second component ok now this one zero point one four eight FCK BD square is for FY is equal to 250 now I'll show you here see for FE 250 it is 0 0.148 FCK BD square for FE 415 0 0.138 FCK BD square for FE 500 it is 0 0.133 FCK BD square now it's time to have multiple choice questions okay are you ready 1 2 3 4 here we go with the first question doubly reinforced beams are provided when Beam dimensions are restricted, beam is continuous, loads are eccentric, all of the above. Guess, guess your answer. Doubly reinforced beams are provided when beam dimensions are restricted, beam is continuous, loads are eccentric, all of the above. Guess, guess. The beam dimensions are restricted, yes. Beam is continuous, yes. Loads are eccentric, yes. That means answer is D, all of the above. All of the above. Second question. When the loads are reversing, the beam is designed as singly reinforced, doubly reinforced, over reinforced, cantilever beam. When the loads are reversing, I gave you example. Recall yourself, I gave you examples, underground sump, when there is a, when there is a water, there is a pressure of water and soil pressure, when it is empty, there is only one soil pressure will be there, no water pressure, that means when the loads are reversing, the beam is designed as doubly reinforced beam, B, doubly reinforced beam. Third question. A doubly reinforced beam is considered less economical than a singly reinforced beam because very very important question a doubly reinforced beam is considered as less economical than a singly reinforced beam because tensile steel required is more than that for a balanced section b shear reinforcement is more c concrete is not stressed to its full value and D, compressive steel is under stress. Think of doubly reinforced beam is considered less economical than singly reinforced beam. Tensile re steel required is more than that for a balanced section is the definition for over reinforced section when tensile steel is required more than that for a balanced section. This has to do nothing with that shear reinforcement. Concrete is not stressed to its full value. Okay. And the last is compressive steel is under stress because you have provided compressive steel in the tension, uh, compressive zone. The answer is D. Compressive steel is under stress. Doubly reinforced beam offer resisting moment resisting moment less than the singly reinforced beam 
more than the singly reinforced beam same as singly reinforced beam none of the above mu is equal to w reinforced beam mu is equal to mu1 plus mu2 that means more than the singly reinforced beam singly reinforced beam gives only mu1 here they give mu1 plus mu2 so answer is b that is more than the singly reinforced beam fifth question in doubly reinforced beam steel reinforcements are provided in tension side only in compression side only in both tension and compression side none of the above very easy questions definition of the doubly reinforced beam where the steel is provided in both tension and compression side answer is c sixth question in doubly reinforced beam additional tension reinforcement as2 is provided because tension side is stress compression side is stress both tension and compression side were stress none of the above as2 as2 is provided because tension side is stress compression side is stress both tension and compression side is stress none of the above guess 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 it is because compression side is stress b compression side is stress and the last question is design stress in compression reinforcement is calculated for doubly reinforced beam corresponding to strain of 0.0035 0.002 0.0035 into x u max minus d dash divided by x u max f y divided by 1.15 es plus 0.002 0.0035 0.002 0.0035 x u max minus d dash divided by x u max and f y divided by 1.15 es plus 0.002 answer is 0.0035 x u max minus d dash divided by x u max answer is Thank you.